There is more reaction tonight to the plan for the future of transit in downtown Victoria. As we first showed you last night on A News, Victoria City Hall has given its endorsement to a rapid transit corridor along Douglas Street, south of Hillside. That's going to eliminate two lanes of traffic and all on-street parking. Now, getting this far in the planning for downtown transit has not been easy, but there'll be many more bumps along the road before light rail cars are running up and down Douglas. A News reporter Erin Glazier has the story. She joins us live with more. Erin. Hudson Victoria Mayor Dean Fortin says it's time to move forward with our transit system and accommodating everyone's needs will be a priority. If city planners have their way, one of these two options could be the future look of transit in the capital region. The plan calls for the elimination of two vehicle lanes and all on-street parking on Douglas to make room for a rapid light rail or bus line. You know, if we didn't have transit on the Douglas Street corridor right now, we would have eight lanes and we would still be having all of that congestion and all that clogged up. We recognize that we're going to have to do something fundamentally different. And if we're going to have change, we can't keep it the same. Along with bike lanes and beautification, the project is expected to transform the downtown corridor into an equal opportunity transit area. But at least one business owner disagrees. This is how Scott Harrison makes his living, one customer, one vehicle at a time. But that may be in jeopardy if the proposed plan for side-by-side -side lanes on the east side of Douglas is chosen. We're going to be losing some of the sidewalk and um, it, I guess they're gaining two lanes of business and I'm gaining basically any uh, or I'm losing any frontal exposure to my business. There'd be no access whatsoever. Uh, being an automotive business, um, that would basically shut me down in, in no time at all. Well, there's him, but, you know, hearing so much from others, other business people, property owners saying, this is going to drive development, this is going to drive density. So we got to listen to the concerns, you know, but we can't let perfect be the enemy of good. And BC Transit says the Douglas Corridor is the last piece of the puzzle. It looks at linking not just the West Shore, but the whole network is based on this spine between uptown and downtown. So the whole rest of the transit network can improve as a result of doing this project. While Harrison would like to see a raised LRT option such as the SkyTrain in Vancouver, Fortin says that is not a financially viable option for a smaller centre. And even the two options that are on the table will need major funding from the provincial government. It's time for the provincial government to invest in its capital city. It's time for the provincial government to believe in all the residents of the region. Hudson, a final decision still has to be made on whether the transit lanes will span both sides of the street or two lanes on one side. And of course, BC Transit is busy working on a budget as to how much this major infrastructure project could cost taxpayers. All right, we'll be hearing much more about this. Erin, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome.